Today on Ham Radio QRP, we take another look at the 300 Hz filter versus the 500 Hz filter in the Yaesu FTDX10. I wanted to redo my CW 500 Hz versus 300 Hz crystal filter test with the DX10. I'm going to use a stronger interfering signal compared to the KX3. So I have a KX3 running at a tenth of a watt into a dummy load near the transceiver and that's going to generate an S5, approximately S5 signal. That's, that's going to be our weak signal, okay? I have also presently on frequency my Tintec Eagle also going into a dummy load but it's running 2 watts and it's going to generate a 40 over signal. Okay, you can see the 40 over signal. So that's going to be an S5 versus a 40 over. So if we start sending from the lower powered receiver, so this is the weak signal we're trying to pick up. Okay, that's of course very easy to copy. It's an S5 signal. Now if our 40 over signal comes in, totally wipes it out, right? Let's just have it go into a transmit loop. Okay, you can barely hear our weak signal under there. It's uncopyable and that's to be expected. No filter is going to wipe that out. But let's go 100 hertz off frequency. still can copy. If we narrow our five, well, let's let's just switch. So we're at full bandwidth on 500 hertz. Let's switch to our 300 hertz filter. You still can't copy at full bandwidth. So let's go back to 500. We're going to narrow the DSP bandwidth. make out the weaker signal but I can't copy it out of there. So what if we go to our 300 hertz filter and narrow it down. Still uncopyable, right? We're 100 hertz away. Let's go back to our 500 hertz filter. I'm going to move the interfering signal 250 hertz away. So we just have our 500 hertz filter in, and it's still, it's overwhelming our weak signal, 250 hertz away. All right, if we narrow down, well then we have to wait for our weak signal to start the repeat. I can barely make out the weak signal now. We're 250 hertz away. So how much does the 300 hertz filter help? And again, when we switch filters, they go back to their max bandwidth. So we're going to narrow it down. Wait for our weak signal to repeat. It is easier to copy. From a very 40 over signal, 250 hertz away. All right, let's move 300 hertz away. We're still on our 300 hertz filter. Wait for the weak signal. Easier to copy. All right, let's try 500 hertz filter again. About equal. Let's move 500 hertz away. 
but no interfering signals 500 hertz away. It's still interfering. Okay, let's switch to 300. Much bigger difference now with the 300 hertz filter than the 500 when the interfering signal is 500 hertz away. And that makes sense because the 300 hertz filter is now narrower in terms of the mechanical crystal filter than the distance away of the interfering signal. Okay, let's go back to our 500. You know, if we leave the DSP out of it, it's an interesting comparison. Switched it to 300. So even without narrowing the DSP, I can copy the weak signal 500 hertz away with the 300 hertz filter. It's slightly harder with a 500, but not impossible to copy. Let's move 600 hertz away. Now it's easy to copy. Switch to 300. And of course easier with a 300 hertz filter. So there is just a very slight difference in having the 300 versus 500 for strong signal rejection. And when the DSP is brought in, uh, it's really close. Okay, let, let me stop these from transmitting. What about noise floor? All right, I've switched to a different band. There was nothing going on on 40 meters. Um, so here we have our 500 hertz CW filter engaged. I've got my RF gain all the way up. I don't normally operate this way, but this is just to demonstrate what the 300 versus 500 does on a noisy band. So this is kind of noisy. Let me get rid of noise reduction here. probably hear that that's fairly noisy. So if I switch to the 300 hertz filter, it seems like it's cut out a significant amount of the noise. Remember, when we switch to the 300 hertz filter, we actually have a 6 dB insertion loss. So part of the quieting you're hearing is just the insertion of the 300 hertz filter. Um, so if I were to raise the AF up a bit, of some highs. So, all right, so I'm at 500 hertz. What if I narrow my DSP bandwidth to 300? Now let's switch to the 300 hertz, which will be at its max bandwidth of 300 hertz. Is there a difference? Tonally, now they were the same because I had narrowed the bandwidth to 300 hertz from 500 on the 500 hertz filter, switch to the 300 hertz filter. We didn't hear the high frequency get cut off because we'd already cut it off with the DSP in the other filter. It seems quieter because we've had a 6 dB insertion loss. So in my opinion, the 500 hertz filter does not make listening to a noisy band any quieter. What you're hearing is the reduction in bandwidth which you can achieve with the DSP and the volume loss that the audio frequency gain loss of 6 dB from insertion of the filter. Um, 
worth listening to a station. this has helped.